Well, let me tell you one thing we're all going to be enjoying is this beautiful full moon. We captured it earlier this morning. We do have a gorgeous sky out there with clear skies. That's what's providing for this moon to look so super, even though it is officially the super moon. The last super moon of the year for 2024, it is the beaver moon. It looks spectacular. I'm going to try to see if our tower cam, once it starts to get a little bit lower to where it's setting, we'll be able to show it to you too. So it peaks at 429 this afternoon. The beavers take shelter during this time of year. That's why it's called the beaver moon. Unfortunately, though, with those full moons that we've had each and every month come the king tide. So our next high tide just after 820 in Hollywood Beach, but also noticing just after eight o'clock for Fort Lauderdale. And here, look, as we look to the east, the sun is already rising and it's spectacular out there. First light over the horizon, crystal clear skies, dry conditions. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how it's going to look tomorrow once the front does clear and Sunday. It's just something we've been waiting so long for. It's just spectacular, really. It takes your breath away, right? Looking to the east and then looking to the west, you can see that full moon. As temperatures right now are also spectacular, we're in the low to mid 70s, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Key West, 66 degrees for you in Kendall 69 and Pompano Beach. Winds anywhere between three to five miles per hour. Temperatures have dropped anywhere between two to eight degrees more comfortable, even nine degrees more comfortable than yesterday. Dew points are in the 60s. Now this was from that front that moved through Wednesday. Now we're waiting for this reinforcing front that's bringing temperatures in the 50s across the panhandle to head our way. Right now it's just north of Tampa, but that cool air is infecting all the way into the northern half of the state. We have dry air in this atmosphere of the upper levels and that's why we're not going to expect much in the way of rainfall with this system. It's all about the temperatures and the wind direction 